180 miles south in Angelina County, Texas game warden James Barge finishes up his morning routine. What are you girls doing? There you go. All right. Got one egg today. Y'all are getting lazy. <laughs> I have been a Texas game warden for 19 years. It's very important for me to be able to help wildlife, but also the life of the people in our communities. Angelina County has got a bunch of different landscapes in it. We have rolling pine hills that's part of the national forest that has good turkey and deer habitat in it. We have Sam Rayburn Lake, which is the biggest lake that lies completely within the state of Texas at 114,000 surface acres. There's just all kinds of wildlife that enjoy living here and lots of people come every year to see the beauties of Angelina County. I'm headed to Hudson to pick up an owl that is in a man's garage. I'm gonna be careful and do what I can to keep from getting talon stuck in my hand. Howdy, how are you? All right, let's take a look at him and then we'll figure out where to go from here. Yeah, the way he's holding that wing, I'm betting, betting he's got a hurt wing. All right. Let's go with this one. Just hold him back for me. I, I want to drop this towel over him from behind, and then I'll scoop him up. He don't realize that you're trying to help him. He just knows that there's a big guy with a towel coming after him. Yeah, he's not feeling good. He's pretty docile. I've got a vet, and we're going to go meet her, and she's going to take a look at him. Look out, buddy. Uh, he's not feeling good at all. When I looked at the owl, one of its wings was tucked in up against him like it's supposed to be. The other one was kind of sticking out. I believe the, the owl's going to have an injured wing on the left side. He's still in there looking around. Hi. Hey, All there's right. our patient, so. All right, well, let's take him back and we'll take a look at him. Oh, that's a little barred owl. So what we're gonna do is just kind of lay him over and let's kind of look at him real quick. You're not near as worried about getting God as I am, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got with these wings. Whoa. Whoa. He decided to come alive now. Yeah, you're gonna need that wing there. That in there looks like it's messed up a little bit. That wing is wanting to droop on this side pretty good. It kind of feels a little bit like loose and fractured here. What we'll do is we'll take an x-ray of that and see if it's in a location that is fixable for him. And then if he is, then it's something that we can pin and repair. Okay. Our ultimate goal is to be able to get this owl well if he's injured and get him released back into the wild. All right. So we did confirm that we definitely have a, a humeral fracture there. That's the fracture on both ends there. What we'll do is uh, go ahead and set this back with a pin and, um, and stabilize it for the next uh, four weeks or so and then um, get him all healed up and then send him to the rehabber there for her to go ahead and put him in a flight cage and get him back to flying again. Great. Okay. It feels good to be able to help a wild animal continue to do what God's put him on this earth to do. Rob. What do you say? There you go. In East Texas, game wardens Jones and Powell meet up with Rob Furlow, who's had reports of gunfire along this unpaved road. Just set the decoy over here. Yeah. On that ridge where that white bucket is? Yeah. yeah. Pass it. Right. In the state of Texas, a public road is any roadway that allows the general public to freely drive up and down. 
and it doesn't matter whether it is paved or dirt. You're not allowed to shoot from a public roadway. Yeah. Road hunting is illegal mainly for safety factors. You don't know what's behind that deer that you're trying to shoot, whether it's another animal, a person walking, a vehicle, a house. So that's why we take road hunting so serious. It is very dangerous. As long as nobody shoots it, walk it down here. Right on the edge. It's a fine line being too far off and, and close enough where they'll, they'll look at it. Where it looks realistic, sometimes it works during the day, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go get in our spot. Yeah. Decoy operation takes a little bit of dynamics. Just back down this road and we'll get far enough back where they can't see in. We're hidden back in the woods a little bit. Got two-way communication with Rob. You read me on five, Jason? Mm, yeah, 10-4. You good? Yeah, 10-4. If somebody does shoot, he'll give us a description of the vehicle and tell us to come on, come on. All right, waiting begins. It's a good spot if we just get the traffic. They're backing up. They stop the truck. Get ready, get ready. Go, 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 come on. Go, go, go. Hey, put your gun down. Put your gun down. Guns down. We don't know how many shooters we got. We got one game board down there, so our first priority is safety, you know, especially for our other game boards. So me and Jason, we're getting there as fast as we can. Where are you guys from? Oh, Dallas. Dallas? Yeah. Do you have your ID, hunting license? Yes. Adrenaline's rushing. You know they've got loaded weapons. You guys got any other weapons on you? No. Nothing? No. OK. Do you know what you did wrong? Yeah? yeah. What'd you do? Yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah? This is a public road. It's against the law. You guys, just go no, on. Just stay right back here, OK? Yeah. Now, there's a gun right there. All right, that one was loaded, too. Getting the shells, you know, that's just part of our evidence. That's shown they did discharge that firearm from the road. One more here somewhere. There's one more. Yeah. There it is. Same one. That wasn't there earlier. That means there ain't no telling. Hey! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Stay back over here. Guy was walking away, and we don't want him going back to the truck with our guns. I don't want you coming over there. You stay back over here.